Karen with the Yes Please Paper Crafts. So for this video, I'm going to be creating a scrapbook layout for Pink Fresh Fridays, which is a YouTube pop where a bunch of us scrappy YouTubers get together once a month to create projects using our Pink Fresh collections. So for this layout, I'm going to be using a combination of the Chrysanthemum collection from Pink Fresh and then the Celebrate collection, which was a collaboration between Ulta New and Pink Fresh. And uh, the chrysanthemum collection is gorgeous. I love the color scheme. It has pink, orange, and green. It's really gorgeous. So this is uh, the chipboard flare from that collection, but there is no paper that uh, is included with this collection from Pink Fresh. And uh, I was trying to figure out what paper that I could use to use this chrysanthemum uh, embellishments that I have. And um, I found this in my stash, which is a Celebrate collection. This is from a few years back. I've had it for a really long time and I have been wanting to use it, but I lost it in my craft room. <laughs> I had it stored under Ulta New and every time I would think about using it, I kept thinking Pink Fresh and I would try to go find it and I would never find it. And then after I moved to my new house and I was going through everything and rearranging uh, the stuff that I had, I actually did come across it and I filed it under Pink Fresh. So now I know where it is. <laughs> okay, so the what I have from this is the paper and then I also had this ephemera pack. But I think I'm going to use the embellishments that are from the chrysanthemum collection. Uh, the the uh, ephemera from this collection is a little bit more muted in color. It's more of a light and dark pink with the green. It doesn't really have, it has kind of like a peach color, but it doesn't really have that deep orange color. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this instead. But isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I love this collection. I wish Pink Fresh would come out with some paper to go with it. And um, I think, I don't know if it was last month or the month before, the Hip Kit Club, they actually included some of this chrysanthemum collection in their Hip Kit Club. Um, uh, but it had uh, different paper. So um, if you're looking for that, you might check out the Hip Kit Club as well. Uh, because they have paper that they coordinated to go with that chrysanthemum collection. Okay, so for this layout, I was looking at the papers. So there are two of each of the papers in this uh, paper pack. And I was going to show y'all what I started with, because I already started working on this layout. Just to kind of come up with the design to make this process go a little bit quicker. Um, I did start with a paper that I'm going to use as my background. And then I did some fussy cutting. So I'm looking for the original paper. Okay, so here is the paper that I started with. It's this paper here. And then the picture that I'm going to use is this picture here, which is a picture of my sister Jeannie and her husband when they got married. It's just a wedding picture. And at first I thought about just putting the picture down here so that I would leave all of this uncovered. And uh, the more that I looked at the embellishments and trying to put some of these embellishments on the layout and putting them on top of this busy floral, um, I didn't really think that I liked it too much. So my next thought or idea was to fussy cut out these flowers, but I still wanted to use this as a background. So what I did was I cut into the paper. I just cut into the center of the paper <laughs> and I fussy cut out all of the little flowers. So I ended up with this right here and this is going to be my background and I'm going to put my picture right there. So I'm going to cover up the hole that I made. <laughs> I'm gonna map the picture and then I'll, I'll put the picture right here. And I think that's gonna be gorgeous. And then I just love all of the ephemera. So I'm gonna go crazy, I think, with the ephemera pack. <laughs> and then I have these, uh, I have the chipboard flare, but I also have these gold puffy accents, which are from an older collection called Everyday Musings. And I thought about maybe possibly bringing in something here, but um, I'm just going to um, start with just matting the picture and adding the embellishments and just kind of see uh, how it goes. And then I might add in something from this. Uh, this is pretty, it's a really pretty gold. And I think it goes really well with this orange color that's included and then the yellows. I think it goes really well with that. So I think that would be pretty if I could figure out a way to incorporate some of that onto the layout. Okay, so to map my picture, I'm thinking about using a couple of different papers. I think I'll use a white cardstock and then I'm going to use this busy floral paper. That'll be the next one. And then to kind of give some separation between this floral background, I'm going to use this paper here and I want to use more of the pink. So I'm probably going to use the part down here, I think. 
and that will give a little bit more separation between the floral that's on the background and my picture. And uh, okay, so that's the plan. So I think what I'll do at this point is I will stop talking and I'm gonna go ahead and just map the picture and, and start laying out the embellishments and I'll come back. Okay, so I matted my picture and I made a little bit of a mistake, but maybe it was a happy accident because I was gonna mat the photo with white cardstock and then this floral paper and then the pink paper and I completely forgot about the white cardstock. <laughs> but there's enough white in this floral paper that it really does help the photo to stand out. And because the once I did that, it wasn't big enough to, to actually cover the hole in the paper, uh, I decided that I would add another paper, another mat, and I had used uh, this floral paper to mat the photo. Well, on the back of it was this green pattern uh, with the leaves. So I used that and I went around the with one more mat underneath the photo and that made it big enough to where it would cover up the hole in my paper. So I think that the paper that I chose to use for my background is perfect for this layout and this paper is just absolutely gorgeous I'm, and it's making this layout come together so easily because a lot of the work was done already. By choosing this paper as my background I have the look of mixed media without actually having to do any mixed media and then I also have embellishments on the page with this floral I have the, the pink on the side over here, so it looks like I did a whole lot more work than I actually did. <laughs> so if you're trying to create a layout and you're going through paper pads or collections, look for papers that have a design already on them. And a lot of times those papers make perfect backgrounds and you can always do something like I did here where I cut out the center of the paper and use that to create some embellishments. And one of the things that's really fun about using a paper like this as a background is that you don't have to do as much embellishing to your layout. So the layout will come together so much easier and quicker. And um, so this, uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna take a picture of my layout because I'm gonna have to remove everything because I didn't, I didn't actually adhere the picture down yet. And I want to actually cut this frame in half and use half of the frame up here and half next to the side of the picture here. And so I'm going to need to remove everything so that I can do that. So I'll do that and I'll come right back. Okay, so I decided to use the gold puppy stickers from the Everyday Musings collections. I just think that that just adds the most gorgeous accent to this layout. And I did contemplate adding some of the crystals from Pinkfresh, but uh, I thought it just took a little bit away from having that gold color. And so I just decided to leave these off of the layout. And uh, I just love... I just love that that gold accent. So what I ended up doing here was to, in order to make this to where I had enough to go in all three of my clusters, I did cut my flowers in half. And so I was able to use half of a flower in each one of the clusters. And then I added on these little gold hearts around the layout. And uh, that's gonna pretty much finish this off. So I really think that this chrysanthemum collection from Pink Fresh is one of my absolutely favorite collections from Pink Fresh. It's the most gorgeous <laughs> color combination. I just love, just love the colors. And also the sayings couldn't, couldn't have been more perfect for this wedding picture. So all of the, the ephemera, it went perfectly with this layout. And I had a hard time choosing which quotes to use on my layout. Uh, but you can see here I have like, you're special to me, happiness, simply the best, memories, a new chapter. That was perfect. Gathered together, there is something beautiful in every day. And um, yeah, just perfect for this layout. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a close-up of the layout. You can see everything that I did here. Isn't this pretty? <laughs> I think this is probably one of my most favorite layouts that I've done in a while. And I just love the way it turned out. So y'all be sure and go check out everyone else's videos that is participating in this YouTube hop because you don't want to miss out on seeing how everybody uses their pink fresh collections this month. So as I was taking pictures of my layout, I realized that the center of this flower didn't look very good. So I went into my stash and got some jewels that I had. I don't know where I got them from, maybe from Hobby Lobby. And I just added those around on top of the flowers. And I think that adds just a bit of sparkle and it covers up that rough center of that flower that I had there. And uh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> I also think that color goes really well with the gold uh, puppy stickers that I used. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was just uh, noticing that when I was taking the still pictures. So I'll have still pictures at the end of this video if you want to see close-ups. 
I hope y'all enjoyed watching the scrapbook process video and if you did please give this video a like and if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you as a subscriber and that's pretty much all I have so y'all take care hope y'all have an awesome weekend and I hope to see you next time